21. It is the first age of coming to terms with the fact of being young. It's the first time I felt it, and not solely on the outside, but on the inside. I'm feeling life unfolding, even if I'm unsure of what that life could be, if that makes any sense. There's been a lot learned since turning this age, a lot very quickly, and there are many lessons still in the process. There's still the restlessness, the urge to up and fly, even while suspended in the air, knowing I could go higher if I chose, but it's now sitting on the stoop in my backyard. My dog in the dirt beside me and a cup of coffee in my hand. I feel a bit close to freedom in that way alone. I feel free when my feet hit the ground, anywhere I walk, to the grocery store, the coffee shop, the beach. There are flashes of it so much more than before. Now even though I'm a nostalgic person, I have not been thinking of the past. But for the sake of doing so, I suppose I should reflect on where I've been and how I've come to this point. It sounds like the usual lines, the usual quotes and tricks people throw out at you when you wonder how to feel okay. But truly, that present moment is something. Even watching the trees blow in the breeze or my friends laughing brings me such peace. The sound of rain and seeing a cardinal on the side of the road being tossed in the waves, a good glass of wine that's actually enjoyed instead of drank to be drunk. It's these things that bring that peace and thinking back and being grateful for those moments. Gratitude will get you far. I feel it every day. And when that restlessness turns to anxiety or doubt, insecurity and hollowness, I try to sit with it a second because what can I do? There's nothing to do about things that will eventually pass on their own. But there's still the big question. What am I doing with my life? How am I using this experience I call my life to the fullest? I don't expect to come up with that answer tomorrow, the next day, or a month from now. But I think about it sometimes. A friend of mine asked me the other night, have you ever gave your all to anything? Something you would put your whole heart and soul into. And I was taken aback. I grew defensive because I've always associated myself to be a kind of drifter, not fully diving into anything, but only trying the surface level of it. But passion, the risk of falling regardless of the result that is yet to come. I'm sure most people could use that question as well. And again, there's nothing to do about it right now. Not right this second but it's only something to think of for a moment. So here I am at 21, broke and questioning like anyone would be at any age, unsure, but not latching on too tightly to it, taking it one day at a time. There's so much more I wanna say. And as I finish writing this little piece, I could tell you of the heaviness in my heart that continues on, even on the good days. The tears held back because I have no idea the reason they've surfaced. The longing for the far off future just to be 40 and calm in myself. But I don't have the space here for these waves that are pulled back and by the current and come to shore a different feeling. A new memory and another and another. So I will sip my coffee and look up at the sky and let that be enough for now.